I think that if you're going to be feminist and then yet you only want to be feminist when it kind of suits you and not completely overall, then I think that's contradicting yourself. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Alexander Grace with Red Pill Interviews. I'm here at Curtin University here in Western Australia and today I'm going to be asking guys to share their thoughts about the Red Pill concept surrounding submission and domination inside romantic relationships. The Red Pill community claims that when a woman is submissive to a man in a romantic relationship, it's a sign that their partnership is healthy and functional. They say that contrary to the modern myth that women want to be equals with their partner, most women seek out a man of higher value than herself. This is because in order to follow her deepest desire and completely submit to a man, she needs to feel that he is masculine and confident enough to take control and be dominant in the relationship. They encourage men to become strongly confident alpha males because it is only these types of men that will unlock the deepest parts of a woman's sexuality and give her the thrill of complete submission. Any thoughts? Uh, I would say like that is sort of true. I don't know, it rings pretty true, really. Yeah, I reckon we said it's true. Yeah, um, yeah, I go with that. In my experience, I can relate to that and say it's somewhat true. I, def I, I definitely agree with that over, like, more, more dare agree than disagree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. Um, like, and a lot of the times they'll tell you that, yes, this is what I want. Like, I want you to be in control. Like, sometimes women do want to feel like equals, but at the same time they do also want a masculine guy and everything. I think that, yeah, sure, guy can be alpha male, but I think that men should also, I mean, no matter who you are, you should empower your spouse, you know, you should make her feel like she can actually achieve something. Do you think that women desire to be submissive to a strongly confident and masculine man? Uh, I think some it of them, yeah, I think it would be pretty nice. I think nice it would, would help. <laughs> for a guy to be more dominant and yeah. like kind of take control, I guess. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I reckon, yeah, I reckon they do, yep. Yep. Definitely, yeah. Oh, I would say not all women, but I'd say a majority of women do. No, I can't say that's true for every single one. Women want a strong leader. Uh, and I guess it kind of comes to the territory that the people who are being led are submissive. In your ideal relationship, is the woman submissive and you dominant? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm the, yeah, she's a submissive one, dominant. Yeah. Um, no, I think we're pretty equal, really. I think no. It should be equal, and then did it know, you know, one shouldn't be dominant. A little bit, only to a certain extent. So, more so like in the bedroom, yeah. yes. But in terms of like a daily aspect of life, not really. I would like for an equal sort of relationship, but we all know what we bring to the table. Yes, but I find that uh, it could get pretty boring for me. Like if, if I'm always dominant and I'm like saying, do this, do this, do this. Uh, like you'd like to be one and done once in a while, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> I want to give her some autonomy. I mean, like for me, I'm a Christian. Uh, you know, in the Bible it says, you know, wives love your husbands. Hey, I'll submit to them, but also, you know what? I think, yeah, they should submit to their husbands and all, but I think that husbands should also love their wives and empower them too. Uh, yeah, I would say more pointing towards that, like, not, not like. I've never been in a relationship, but. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe you. Are you sure? No. Is he telling the truth? I, I kind of just sleep around. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the biggest, you know. I mean, maybe a little bit, yeah. I've seen a girl, but never really. You don't want to commit, right? Yeah, that's pretty Why true. is that? Um, I don't know, I'm not ready for it. I mean, it's just too much hassle, I feel like. I just... Have done it is myself. hassle. It is definitely hassle. Too much hassle. <laughs> Do you think that women would rather be in a relationship of equals or be with someone who they perceive to have higher value than themselves? I'm not sure. Really, it depends on the woman because we're all made differently. I reckon it depends on the kind of woman you're actually talking about, but usually, I reckon, yeah, when the male's more dominant. I imagine they'd want to be viewed as equal. I mean, they, they want to have uh, a, um, men that higher values than their mother. Oh, high value, of course, but like I, I think anyone's like that. You, you, you know, you're always trying to get the next best thing. But 
A crew definitely. Yeah, I feel like all as well. For sure. Like, especially if I feel like they're less than someone, then it's yeah. just not really like a, a relationship. Yeah, as long as that person feels like they're equal, but if they saw themselves as lesser, like, yeah, like if we're talking work, about like, respect, sort yeah, of, definitely. Equal. I would say they would want you to be of a high value, but they would want it to seem like it's equal in a way. So it's kind of like contradicting, but yeah, that's how I see it. Do you think women can't really like be honest with themselves? Like about... Yeah. I'd say with a lot of things, they want it to be equal, but then there's certain things where they want you to be a little bit, like provide more for them and be more masculine and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. Do you think that women would feel more comfortable being submissive to an alpha male who's strong and confident or a beta male who's like feminine and caring? I reckon alpha male for sure, yeah. Uh, alpha male, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That, that's really interesting. I, I, I'm not too sure about that. I have to find out actually. Um, I suppose maybe an alpha male, but again, it's like different with every girl. Yeah. But I feel like more, yeah, it would be a yeah, yeah the alpha male, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I would say more alpha male because you see the thing is us men. I mean, if you look at tradition, we are made to like. You know, we are made to be protective, we're made to show that, hey, you know what, we're tough guys. I mean, women, you know, they need, sure, they can be tough enough, but they need someone to fall back on. I would say an alpha male, but even a beta male still, they would be submissive to that as well, because women do like their feelings to be thought about, whereas, like, alpha males sometimes don't necessarily think about women's feelings they just think about like what they have done and what they can do for them but yeah a beta male would pretty much be I'd say not the ideal male but it would be closest to what they would want as well do you think that the natural sexual dynamic between men and women is dominant and submissive um, physically yeah yeah physically like yeah. on a mental level probably, probably not but physically yeah uh, yeah I think that somewhat along those lines somewhat I suppose naturally maybe yeah but uh, again I don't think it really applies to every situation yeah it used to be in the past you know like you know starting from main cave you know coming to now this generation uh, it has been you know men have uh, you know uh, have been dominant the males were the ones that would go out and get food whereas women would be the ones that stayed home and like cooked and did all that stuff. But obviously now times have changed, but I think that that is what they kind of want, like a male to go out there and provide, but they still provide for themselves. But you provide more, that's pretty much it. Do you think it's true that there are certain sexual acts that a woman will only do with an alpha male? Certain sexual acts? Um, I reckon they'd go all out with, a, with an alpha male, to be honest, yeah. Yeah. Not too sure about that. I think, yeah, it also would depend on the, on the woman, yeah. A lot of women do, I think, yeah. No, I think that it really comes down to how much you trust that person and how much you guys both have, like, um, like sort of like a, not a, a connection, but it would be like what you think he can sort of do and their abilities. You don't want to obviously ask for something that's crazy and wild and you know that they can't do that, so there's no point. Um, yeah, if he can pick her up, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All the crazy shit like that. I feel like it takes like the right guy to kind of like unlock the different like things that the girl's gonna do. Like they're not they're not gonna just do her like kinky shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> like every like every guy that she meets is gonna be like a special guy to have like a different experience with. Okay. Yeah. There, there's a saying in the red pill community that's like, for one guy she'll make him wait six months to do something sexually, but for a different guy, like if he's yeah, high value enough, she'll do it that night. Straight away, yeah. You'd True. kind of agree with that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I could see it happening, definitely. Do you think there's any contradiction between a woman who says that she's a feminist, but also wants to be submissive to an alpha male? Yes, I do think there's a contradiction with that. I don't think there's any, contra uh, you know, any contradiction at all, to be honest. I suppose there are some slight contradictions. I mean, in the bedroom, there's no contradiction, I think, because it's preference. Uh, I think the, the term feminism, or like the term feminist, has become so warped that everyone has their own definition, so it's hard to say, like, if, if a girl was to say, I'm a feminist, 
but I also want to be submissive. You don't know what kind of feminist she is. Not really. No. I think just wait, feminist. So what? She's a feminist, so Politi that means she wants to be views. like That's equal. That's political views. That's not really. Like, yeah. I wouldn't say being a feminist is concerned with like. I don't know what they think. Yeah. Of them. <laughs> Maybe yes or no. Who knows? But. I reckon yeah. Um, usually you wouldn't get a a woman that is feminist that would be submissive to a male. Usually they'd be like they try to be the more dominant one in the relationship. So yeah. Well, I guess like the the feminist movement was about female empowerment. So I guess there is a contradiction in the logic about being about being empowered and then being submissive. My take on feminism is that you don't want to be seen as equal to males and if you don't want to be treated equal and it's a bit of a contradiction. What would you say to the nice guys who would say that they would never want to be dominant in a relationship out of respect for the woman? I reckon drop that and be dominant to be honest. <laughs> it was, doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't work being the nice guy, it never works. Ah, that one's very interesting. I think nice guys are, you know, there is no such I think I believe that there is no such thing as nice guy. I mean, that is their choice. I would say that some women might like that, but I know most women that I've come across kind of aren't really the whole nice guy sort of type. They do like to be a bit submissive and all that. I'd say keep doing you, whatever you want. I'd to say do keep doing you, but yeah. also kind of kind of branch out a little bit. Yeah, Try it. I wouldn't if, you know, spend. I wouldn't spend you. like your entire life being submissive, like, being holding back. Yeah, you know, for sure. Why not try everything once? <laughs> yeah, everything. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> well, to put it bluntly, man up a little, because you know what, you you know, women need. A husband that you know that can be there for them when everything comes crashing down, physically, spiritually, whatever. I mean, the thing is, who knows? Your wife, me, or girlfriend, maybe, you know, she may need you in some way. But if you can't provide for her in that way, then pretty much you're redundant, right? Yeah, a man needs to be strong. Why do you think men and women are sometimes reluctant to publicly admit that they have a preference for a dominant submissive dynamic in their relationships? Um, it's probably like a pride factor. They wouldn't want to be. They wouldn't want to just say that because. Yeah, I don't know. They want to let down their pride or something like that. I reckon. But I reckon they are. It was after an alpha male. Probably because they feel like they'd be judged, or maybe because they feel like they're wrong. Uh, I don't think they're reluctant to admit it. Um, I don't think anyone openly says it, but I think it's implied. Y'all you know, like me, sometimes I'm reluctant to admit stuff like that too because I'm afraid of like, you know, getting judged and all that. But you know what, it's like that with everyone. You know, we're all afraid of being judged for something. <laughs> because I think that it makes them come across a certain way, like to certain people and us as humans tend to, well most, some people, not I wouldn't say most people, but some people do wanna like be like a, like a people pleaser. So they don't wanna say what they think is gonna be wrong. So yeah, it's just one of those things like, they may think it, but they won't say it just because they want other people to like be opinionated about their choice. So that's, that's pretty much it. They get embarrassed about sexual yeah. stuff? Embarrassed? Like, um, with strangers? I guess? I mean, I'll talk about that Yeah, shit. I'm not really like... I'll be dominant and <laughs> Yeah, I mean, here we are, so... I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be whatever cool. you want. But, you know, whatever floats your boat, turns you on, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought of the guys' responses. If you want to show your support to Red Pill interviews, then the best thing to do is to hop onto my Patreon. Do that and you'll be my bro for life. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.